All right, everybody, good morning. My name is Ms. Nunez, and I'm a computer science teacher working primarily with middle school students this year. Um, we are going through unit three of the CS Discoveries curriculum. So we're looking at interactive animations and games. Today, we're gonna go through lesson 16 on keyboard input. So let's get into it. Um, we're gonna start with looking at the unit overview because before you click on anything, before you start coding anything, you really should come up here and click on the purple button that says lesson resources. So we're gonna do that. And you can see that we have one new introduced code bit. So key down code, uh, we're gonna find out what that does. And everything else looks uh, good. So let's get into it. We're gonna click on level one with prediction. So obviously we're gonna be predicting something and you can see over here that you cannot run the program. You cannot run the code until you make a prediction. And the reason for that is so that people don't skip this. However, if you just put a dot and this turns orange, that doesn't mean you should press submit. You should actually put in your response first in complete sentences because that is a teacher's best dream is complete sentences with proper capitalization and period. Oh, chef's kiss. Um, so you're going to fill in what you think is going to happen here. It says, see if you can predict how the key down block works. You will not write any code. So we don't even have to look at the toolbox. We're just looking at the code. Uh, it says, do this, read the program carefully, make a prediction about what will happen when you press the space bar and write it in the box below. Be specific. So don't just put, I think the code's going to run. That's not an answer. Uh, run the program. While the program is running, press the space bar on your keyboard. And then were you correct? Were you surprised? Discuss with a classmate. All right, so we're gonna take away the period. Um, so it says run the code and observe what happens when you press the space bar. Function draw, so we have a draw loop going on here. Uh, background's gonna be white. It says text align center, center. All right, so the text is gonna be in the center. Uh, text size 100, text key down space 200, 200. Um, so what do I think is going to happen? I think that we're going to see text appear in the center of the white background. So I believe we're going, we're going to see, uh, text appear in the center of the, uh, white background. Uh, I think we'll need to press the space bar in order to see the text. So let's uh, see if I'm right. So we're gonna run it. Oh, so we see false. What happens when we press spacebar? Ah, okay. So we do see text appear in the center. However, I thought it wasn't gonna appear until we press the spacebar. Um, instead, when we press the spacebar, it changes from false to true. That is interesting. All right. So I was kind of right. All right, so with that, we're gonna finish uh, level one and I will see you on level two. Here we go.